Kat in Hindi, you may join the session tomorrow. So let's start the session. Uh, today I'm going to show the listing on mouse, which is requested by Mr. Praveen. So if you also want that I should take an example of your product and show you the listing, then I would suggest you that you can mention it in the feedback suggestion section. And we will try to conduct the session. All of you to please do log in your dashboard. I am sharing the link in the chat. So I have shared the link in the chat box. You can log in your dashboard from the link. At the session, just give me one second. And I would request all the sellers to please mute yourself to avoid echo and disturbance in the voice. Further, I would request all of you to, if you have any kind of doubt or query in between of the session, then I would request you to please do mention it in the chat box. As dedicated team is available there and they will reply to you. They will respond as early as possible. Further, you may raise your hand and I will cater all the queries as per the hand raise at last. So let's start the session. Thank you so much. Just give me one second. So sellers, welcome to the Ignite program. As I said, the session is of single and latch on listing. So today in this session, we will discuss about what listing exactly is. What is the purpose of doing listing means why listing is so much important. How you can select vertical brand and QC as well. How you can create single and latch on listing through mobile as well as through desktop. What All these things we start at. Hope you all have logged in your dashboard. If the link is www.seller.flipkart.com. Now let us know what exactly listing is. Basically, the listing means to add your products on the Flipkart. Whatever product you want to sell on Flipkart, that will the process of adding that particular product on Flipkart is called as listing. So why listing is so much important? So sellers, if you start any business or if you run any business, then you need some sort of medium means any product that you will show the buyer will buy it and give you some sort of revenue and that will help you to grow your business. So this is the reason listing is so much important. If you will not list, then you won't be able to get some revenue or you won't be able to run your business. Now let us discuss about vertical selection, brand approval, and QC as well. For all these, let me quickly take you to the dashboard and that will be clear to you from there. So once you have logged in your dashboard, this kind of interface will get opened as in you can see this kind of interface. Here just after the home tab, listing option is available. You have to click on add new listing. So once you will click on add new listing, you can see this kind of interface. Just give me one second. So here you can do single listing. From here you can do bulk. And from here you can do the latch on listing. So as I said today in this session we will discuss about single and latch on. For bulk listing we have a separate session. You may join that. So let's start with single listing. So I have clicked on single listing. Then this kind of interface will get opened. Basically, sellers, all the listing gets completed in three steps. First is you have to select the vertical and then you have to select the brand. And last, you have to fill the product information. So let's proceed with the vertical. Basically, if in simple language, I would describe the vertical, that is your product, whosoever you want to list. 
there are two options available you can select your vertical from there either you can mention the product name here in the chat box this is the easiest one and apart from this you may select manually from here as i said that i will take a listing of mouse today as per request by mr praveen so here i'm mentioning mouse now you can see all the suggestions are available here so i am selecting here the first one why here you can see my product actually belong to computer accessories and components so this is accessory so this is my subtree and now my product is it it is a mouse so mouse is my vertical now which is the easiest one which i have shown you apart from this you may select it manually as well by scrolling down in the your vertical option just select computer accessories and then select computer accessories because our product belong to the computer accessory only so now let's select the actual product which we i want to list so either i am uh, i want to list here mouse so i have selected mouse now here flipkart will give you suggestion as in if your product look like this or the details of your product are like this you may match it if it is like this then absolutely your vertical is correct so once you have selected the vertical let's proceed to the brand the second step so for this let's click on select brand so once you have clicked on select brand this kind of interface will get opened sellers there are two kind of brands basically first is registered and second is non registered for non registered you may call it as open brand registered the name is only clear that all those brands on which a seller has taken the tmc that is trademark certificate will be called as registered brand just opposite to it all those brands in which none of the seller has taken the tmc that is trademark certificate then it will be called up as open brand so let me show you an example of registered one and then i'll show you the example of open brand registered is for those means if you are a manufacturer of that then only you will need trademark certificate and if you are not manufacturer you are retailer or wholesaler then also you may list the particular product but then you will need some sort of different documents which i'll tell you let's take an example dell here i have mentioned the brand name is dell i'll click on check brand so here you can see the red mark visible basically whenever you click on check brand and if the red mark is visible that means the particular brand is registered one if you want to deal under this particular brand you may need some sort of documents which you have to upload on flipkart so click on apply for brand approval once you have clicked this kind of interface will get open here you have to select that what is the minimum tenure a warranty tenure provided by your brand as in if it is 6 month to 12 month if they have allowed you to sell for this particular a particular time period then you have to select from here if it is not then you may select not applicable here you have to mention the brand name as you can see i have mentioned dell so the name is visible here hello dell. hello hello yes mr monu hello yes mr monu you are absolutely audible hello mr monu you are absolutely audible please ask your concern I think there is some sort of network issue from your end. I would request you to please rejoin, sir. So here you have to uh, select whether you are offline distributing this particular brand or not. Just select here yes or no. Here you have to upload the brand logo. Here you have to mention the brand website link if you have. Where are you currently selling this particular product? I would request all of you sellers, please do mute yourself to avoid echo or disturbance between the session. You may take help of chat box if you have any concern, any doubt. So, sellers, as I was telling you, 
here you have to upload your mrp tag if you are the brand owner as i was discussing in uh, starting only so if you are the brand owner means if you are the manufacturer mr monu please mute yourself i would request you to please mute yourself to avoid echo thank you sir so here if you are the brand owner means if you are the manufacturer then you have to select a certificate only you can upload the document that is trademark certificate here you from here that which document you are if you are not the brand owner and deal under this particular branding if you are a wholesaler retailer or like that here you have to select no and here you have to upload either you can upload bal that is brand authorization letter or you can upload invoice purchase invoice few things that are mandatory in purchase invoice are firstly there should be there, this should be a computerized bill means this should be a computer generated bill then all the details of your item that should be visible on the purchase invoice means the item details the stock count should be minimum 10 and uh, last but not the least gst in number the gst in number of your as well as in which brand you are dealing with if you don't have the gst in number of the particular brand you may mention the gst in number of the person with whom you are purchasing and the stamp and signature if all these things are visible on your purchase invoice then your purchase invoice is absolutely correct and you may upload it and proceed with your listing so from here you can upload the particular document whichever you want to upload select the desired uh, option and then click on apply so once you have clicked on apply then there is need that whether it is in process if it is disapproved or if it is approved so from where you can check the status in order to check the status just go under the listing track approval request option if it is in progress it will show here in progress if it is disapproved the reason will reflect here if it is approved you may check from here now this was all about a registered brand now let's discuss about an open brand so basically in open brand you don't need any kind of document you may start your listing just with a branding so how you can identify whether it is a open brand so as of now as i'm dealing under a test account so i have mentioned here test i'll click on check brand this green mark is reflecting here as of now so basically this green mark shows that this is a open brand and i can list without any document click on create new listing here you can see the vertical has been selected the brand has been selected now i have to fill the product information just give me one second sellers so yes so uh, let's start with the images so to upload the images you have to click on plus once you will click on plus here you can see by scrolling down the guidelines which has been uh, which has been uh, created by the flipkart as in what are the guidelines that you have to follow mr monu please stop uh, sharing your screen thank you so much sir i would request all of you to please do not do such kind of things because it might take time and hamper your experience and i'll get less time to explain you all the things and cater your doubts uh, it's my humble request please do avoid these things sir thank you so by scrolling down here you can check all the guidelines as in what are the guidelines that have been provided by the flipkart that you should take care while uploading the images now here you can see the red star sign this is called basically asterisk sign 
wherever this sign this red star sign asterisk sign is available that means that particular field is very much mandatory if you will not fill that or if you will not upload that then your listing will not be created so as you can see on the front view only this red star sign is available means i have the mandatory option is only front view if i will not upload this side view bottom view then also there is no issue my listing will be done so let's upload the images i'm uploading here the front view so here i have uploaded the image now i click on save okay one error is showing just let me check okay now it has been done so here you can see the green mark and please do save all the things all the details which you have completed your step to avoid uh, it uh, there might be some issue or it might get missed so i would suggest all of you to please do save once you have completed one step so i have completed the for, uh, uploading the images step now let's proceed to price stock and shipping information here i'll click on edit the first option that is visible here is seller sku id this basically sku id means stock keeping unit id it help you to identify that which order you have received so it is totally up to you whatever name you want to give you may give so here i'm mentioning black mouse so whenever i will receive any order from the customer if i'll see this sku id black mouse then i'll quickly come to know that i have to hand over the black mouse so this is purely up to you whatever you want to name your product just for your remembrance you may now the listing status that has to be active the mrp that is maximum retail price of the product so here i'm mentioning triple nine you may mention as per your product your selling price means by what price you want to sell it on flipkart so here i'm mentioning uh, yes mr monu madam english mein hi bataya jayega ya hindi mein hi bataya jayega सर ये सेशन इंग्लिश का है आप अगर हिंदी में चाहते हैं तो आप कल का सेशन ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं क्योंकि ये सेशन स्पेसिफिक इंग्लिश में शेड्यूल्ड है ठीक है मैडम थैंक यू सर सो यू हियर यू हैव टू मेंशन द सेलिंग प्राइस मींस बाय व्हाट प्राइस यू वांट टू सेल द पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट ऑन फ्लिपकार्ट सो हियर आई हैव मेंशन 399 यू मे मेंशन एज पर योर प्रोडक्ट नो फुलफिलमेंट बाय means who will be the one who will pack the particular order of course you sellers so here you have to select seller procurement type here i would suggest you to select express why this we will discuss later one thing let me highlight here is in express your order gets picked on the same day when you mark the rtd that is ready to dispatch so under the procurement sla if you are selecting express then the order will be picked on the same day so here if i am mentioning here too that means i'll hand uh, i'll hand over the order to the logistic team within 2 hours or right ready to dispatch marking if you are selecting here in stock that means once i have marked rtd i have 2 days of time to hand over the order to the logistic team now stock count here whatever the stock that you have you have to mention so here i am mentioning 50 you may mention as per your product shipping provider who will be the one who will de uh, deliver the particular order to the customer of course flipkart so here you have to mention flipkart now local zonal and national delivery charges so here i am mentioning zero because i want this particular product to avail for customers in free delivery if you want to charge shipping charges from the customer you may mention here it is purely up to you either you may provide free shipping or either if you want you may charge now length breadth height and weight here the length breadth height and weight you have to mention is not of your product here you have to mention the length breadth height of your product after packaging 
please do take care that the length breadth height and weight which you are mentioning here that should be of your product after packaging because it might hamper sometimes it happens as in like uh, let me take an example of cloth if you are dealing under any clothing item then the length breadth and height of that particular product might be high but once you have packed it it will get folded and then the length breadth and height will get decreased so you can uh, take an example as in like the charges will also get decreased so this is the reason we suggest you to please do mention the length breadth and height and weight of the product after packaging please do not mention the length breadth height and weight of your actual product and here the length i'm taking and as, as an example 10 cm here i have i also i have fit 10 cm my product is let me take 200 grams so here i have mentioned this because the weight is 200 grams now selling reason preference if you want to receive your order from local and zonal only then you may select local and zonal if you want to receive the orders from all over india then you may select local zonal and national the HSN code, basically, this is a text code that actually impacts your GST percentage. So here you have to click on the blue link. If you get your desired option, then you may select that. If you don't have, then you may select the other as well. So here I have selected. Now luxury says, as you can see, red star sign is not available here. So I don't have to fill this particular option. However, if there is any luxury percent charge, then you may fill here. Now the tax code, the GST percentage that is applied on your product. So here I'm mentioning 18. You may mention as per your product. Now country of origin, where this product is made. It is made in India. So I have selected India. Manufacturer detail, the person who is manufacturing it. As if I am the only one who is manufacturing it. So here I have mentioned trust enterprises. If you are buying from somewhere else, then you may fill the details of that particular person. The packer detail. Under the packer detail, you may fill your details because you are the only one who will pack the particular product. So now we'll click on save. So here I'm getting two errors. Why? Because this is a test account and we are not allowed to do the listing in this particular account. So if you are doing any listing, you will not get this error now product description let me move on to this here the model name the model name will be visible on the mrp label you can mention from there if you are manufacturing it from your end you may mention as per your convenience so here i'm mentioning bm that is black mouse underscore one just for my convenience for an example i'm mentioning here the brand color the color of the mouse it is black so i have mentioned here black interface means which kind of port it uh, actually supports as in usb 2.0 usb 3.0 bluetooth wireless it is usb 2.0 so i have selected usb 2.0 the type which kind of mouse it is it is optical one so i have selected optical now it is wired or wireless it is wired so i have selected wired now is it suitable for gaming no so i have selected here no is it bluetooth compatible or not no so i have selected here no the system requirement means by which kind of system this will be compatible so here i'm mentioning windows you may mention as per your product sales package means under one packet what will be the thing that the customer will receive so here i'm mentioning one black wired mouse you may mention as per your product now you have to click on save because all the details i have filled here you can see the green mark that means all the things that i have filled is absolutely correct now the send to QC option will be highlighted for you. Once you will click on send to QC, your listing will be in progress. 
so this was only about the listing but what if you want to do a good listing because once you have listed a product of course you want orders also to come so all those sellers who say that visible on buyer portal then i would suggest you to please do fill few things under the additional description option so here this is actually an optional if, if you will fill that would be really great if you don't then also you will list Listing will be completed as I said to fill the details. What are the specifically that is description, search keyword, and key feature? Under the description and key feature, you have to mention actually your product highlight. As the quality of your product means what is the customer should buy. This will help the customer with mind. So as we uh, you can example as in like the black mask compatible with all windows system you may uh, mention the description like this and under the key feature you may mention point wise as in like it is uh, the interface is 2. Point, uh, usb 2.0 black color wired like this you may mention the key features the search keyword if you will leave it blank then your product might not be visible on buyer portal so if you want your product to be visible more and more in if you want to increase your visibility then i would suggest you to please mention the search keyword so how you can mention let me tell you that here suppose i'm mentioning here black mouse so if the customer will search by the name black mouse then only my product will be visible so if as you know that there are many customers the customer base is very big so they also have very different kind of mindset they may search the product by different names so like this only we don't we have not created any kind of maximum range that you may uh, mention two to three search keywords only this is purely up to you we suggest you you may mention at least five maximum this is purely up to you how many you want to mention so how you can mention the another search keyword please do not put here comma and mention the another search keyword this will be wrong what you have to do is you have to click on plus and here you have to mention the another search keyword suppose i'm mentioning here mouse usb 2.2 so like this you may add other search keywords as well so most of the sellers ask that how i may decide that what kind of search keyword i should add in order to increase my visibility because i'm listing just now my product so i don't have that much of idea so i would suggest you to go product name i'm mentioning here mouse now you may see the mouse, mouse pad, mouse wireless, mouse for laptop, mouse and keyboard for laptop, mouse trap. So these are basically the trending search keyword that are available here on buy portal. Means the product mouse, the customers are searching widely by these all names. So if you will mention these all search keyword as per your product, then that will help you to increase the visibility by these names if the customer will search your product will also be visible so once you have mentioned the search keyword and all the details click on save now the details will be saved and you may now click on send to qc in order to process your product now if you have any kind of a variant variant means if you have any color or size variant available as in like you have this particular mouse in different colors the size is not as such possible in the mouse so if you have any kind of color variant suppose you have this mouse in white color or if you are listing any kurta shoes if you have the size and color variant so once you have filled all the details and the green mark will come then this create variant option will be highlighted and from here you may create the variant i'll show you the example when i will do the latch on process because as of now i am not getting because this is a test account and i am unable to access it so now once you have clicked on send to qc how you may check whether it has been in progress or it has been passed it has been failed only from here we have proceeded a single listing 
just by scrolling down from here only you may see the mouse which i was listing under the test brand draft because i haven't clicked on send to qc once you have clicked it will reflect here in progress if it has been passed it will reflect in green mark if it has been failed or there is some error then also it will be visible in red color so you may click on fix error resolve the issue and then click on save and then click on send to qc once again the team will check if if everything is fine then your listing will be created it takes maximum 72 hours for the qc to get checked now this was all about the single listing now let us know about on process if i have to say latch on in simple and easy words i would say someone else product suppose i went on buyer portal i saw and i also have that same product all right if i have the same product then i also want to sell particular product then we suggest you you may latch on that particular product there but there is one condition that the product should be in open brand if it is a registered one you cannot latch if it is an open you can latch on so how you will come to know where, that whether it is registered or open how you can latch on for all these i will share i will discuss now before i start the process let me show you once you have latched on how it will reflect on buyer portal how you may check that i have latched on or not i have been added as a seller or not now i'll go on buyer portal here i have mentioned mouse you can see this product i have clicked on now here you can see buyer on buyer portal only flipkart.com i'm opening this particular product here you can see by scrolling down if the customer will click on buy now button the particular order will go to retail net because why because seller name mentioned here is retail net so if you have also latched on means you have also copied the same product you may check your name under the more seller option here you can see the portronics digital just for you is also selling the same product on the buyer portal but why the chances of getting orders of retail net is only much higher this actually depend on the rating review and price of the product so as being new sellers you don't have that much of review and rating then we suggest you that you may work on price as in if the particular seller is selling the one uh, on 199 then you may sell it on 198 person the seller who has the least selling price will be visible in front so you may list your product as according to that so now how you can latch on let me tell you about that Let's take the same example only, this mouse only. So I'll click here on the particular mouse. Now you can see the link which is available here under the search bar. Search bar. Here I'm copying it. You may check that it is highlighted in blue color which I'm copying. Now I have copied. I'll go on my seller portal now. From here we have started single listing. Here in the search bar option, paste the particular link which we have copied from the buyer portal. Now I have pasted, click on search. Here you can see the image, all the details have been copied. Only the details which I have to fill and start selling is price, stock and shipping information. Rest of the details will be copied as same. Also, I will be added as a seller within few hours only. I don't have to wait for 72 hours because this product is already passed. Now, if you want yourself to get added as a seller, just click on start selling. Fill the price, stock and shipping information, which I have explained you when I was doing the listing. Click the open brand have been added as a seller. Within few hours, your name will also be visible on the buyer portal and you may start selling. Now, if the red mark will come, that means this is a registered brand and you are not allowed to latch on under this particular brand. So uh, most of the sellers ask that, is there any list available from which we can know that this is an open or this is a registered brand? So as of now, I'm so sorry, sellers, but there is no as such list available 
you have to fill the details click on submit and then only you will come to know this is a registered or an open branch now if you have a variant of that means if you have the particular mouse in white color have the size and different color of the product so how you may add just click on add variant the same option will be visible that was earlier visible on the listing time which i was unable to show you due to the test account so here, just if you want to add the color or variant click on create new fill the color name whichever you want to list i have mentioned here white click on create and then click on create product variant like in any color variant then you have in the I'm mouse in white color then i have to upload the image of mouse in white color because from there only the buyer will come to know that how it actually looks now the price stock and shipping information will be changed because the fku id cannot be same for any of the product means whether you are creating size variant color variant or anything or if you are doing a new listing then you have to mention the different sku id so this sku id maximum retail price selling price and of course stock these all four details you have to fill and rest of the details will be copied as same and then click on start selling and then you will be added as a seller so now this was all about the latch on and single listing now Uh, from the desktop now let us know that how you can do this from the mobile app just give me one second so once you have logged in your flipkart seller hub through your mobile app you may see this kind of interface you have to click on the three parallel lines that are available click on the three parallel lines just after the home tab listing option is available so here you have to click on listing now this kind of interface will get open from here you may check whatever listings you have done now if you want to add a listing just at the right hand side you may click on add add listing that will be visible in blue color click on add listing then you will get two options if you want to proceed with flipkart list if you want to create shopsy listing you may click on that the process is same for both just you have to select the desired option now as of now we are uh, discussing about the flipkart listing so we will click on create flipkart listing so once we have clicked on create flipkart listing here you may see this kind of interface sellers through mobile app you cannot do bulk listing or you cannot create the color variant because this option will not be visible you have to log in to your da uh, dashboard through desktop in order to create variant or in order to do listing in bulk so basically from mobile app you may list a new product or you may latch on so in order to latch on just paste the link here and the process will be same If you want to do a new listing, then also process is same. Just click on create new listing, and then this kind of page will get opened. As I say, the process is same here. Also, the listing will be done in three steps: vertical, brand, and then product information. Here also, you may mention the vertical. name here and select the approve we were doing earlier on desktop where you can check the progress so basically the name only changes here just after the listing option in the three parallel lines brand approval option is available from here also you may check whether it is in progress it has been passed or failed now once you have selected your brand 
click on confirm and next and then the option to fill your product details will be visible here you may scroll down and check the guidelines that what is the image guideline available by the Flipkart in order to take care before you upload the image. Now, if you want to upload the image, just click on upload photo. You will see two options available. First is upload. You may upload through gallery or you may take picture live from your camera and then you may upload it. So once you have selected the photo, click on send to QC and then the option to fill the information will be visible. You have to fill all the details as I have guided when I was details and then click on send to. It has been in progress past or failed. So from here also you may check by scrolling down. It is past, failed or it is in progress. So last but not the least, when I was doing the listing, I have suggested you to select Express as in procurement type. So why let us discuss now, as I said, I will discuss in last. So as I said, we will be picked on the same day once you have marked the RTD that is ready to dispatch. What are the benefits? Faster delivery means if the order is getting picked from yours, very early then also it will be delivered to the customer as fast as possible so this will help you to give faster delivery to the customers free delivery means whatever charges you were earlier paying the same charges you have to pay this time as well there is no as such extra charge if you select shipping as in express more orders more orders means Think of a customer if he, of course, you will give the product with a good quality at a good pricing. So if the customer is receiving the product at a good quality, good price, and even on time, then of course, he will be impressed and would love to order from you only next time. And if the customer is satisfied, of course, he will give you good ratings and reviews. How lower returns actually sometimes it happens that the customer cancels the order or returns the order saying long delivery time. So if the order has been delivered to the customer on time, then the chances of getting cancelled or return will be decreased. So now, as I said, the particular order will be picked once you have marked RTD. So the RTD that is ready to dispatch time where you can see under the pending RTD column, dispatch by date, this type of interface from like this only you may check that how many hours you have, how what is the date, by what time you have to mark RTD here. And once you have marked RTD, then only your express time slot will be counted. Now, when you were doing listing, I have suggested to select the procurement type as express. So what if you have already listed your product and how you may list the particular product under the express listing, how you may opt it? Let me quickly explain it to you. So for this, let us go on my listing tab. Here, all the active listings, whichever are live on buyer portal will be visible here. So here you can see 59,028 active listings are visible. Now, if I want to opt in Express, what you have to do is just click on the edit listing option. Here by scrolling down. Just give me one second. It is already in Express. Suppose if it was an in stock. And then if I have to select the Express. You have to select express and then click on submit. Once you have clicked on submit, green mark will come and your listing will be opted in express within few hours only. Now, if you have to do it in bulk, because one by one, it will take very much time. So how do I do it in bulk? Firstly, I, was, I would suggest you that you may, pro, uh, you may apply a filter because all these, as I have 598 listing, so basically, I don't remember that how many listing I have opted in Express or not. So if you also have the same confusion, you may apply this filter. 
select the procurement type here select regular in regular click on apply why i have selected regular that means all the listing which are not in express that only will be visible here so let how you can do it in bulk let me show you just give me one second listings in express so how you can do it in bulk just at the left hand side in the product drop down is available if you will click on this page all the listings which are available here on this selected if you will click on all pages listings which are available on all pages will be so i'm taking an example with this page now we have to click on request download select listing file now you may see the file is getting generated once it has been generated green mark will come here you can see the green mark download ready just click on the drop down the uh, option with now you have to click on the download of that only and excel file will get downloaded so basically the changes you have to do it in this excel file only so let me quickly open this excel file So once you have opened the Excel file, you have to go in P column. Here you can see the P column procurement type. Here everything is in in stock. So just select on Express, copy it, and then paste it in rest of all. Do save it with the same name because if there is name, if the name changes or there is any even a dot get missed. then also if you will upload this file then you will find error so save it by the same name and then go on the upload click on the listing file here select the desired file which you have saved click on open and then again the file uh, will get generated and from here you will be able to see the green mark like this and uploaded successful option will be visible here that means all the listing which you have selected that has been opted in express so like this only you may proceed to opt in express now i will cater all your queries as per the hand raised so before i start catering i would request all of you to please do fill the feedback form that really help us encourage us to serve you better so how you may fill it let me explain it to you as well and then i'll cater all your queries as per the hand raised So I have shared the link in the chat box. Specially those sellers, specially जो sellers हिंदी में ये session चाहते थे, आप सभी से request होगी कि आप कल का session दोबारा join कर सकते हैं जो कि हिंदी में होगा. Now click on the feedback link which is available in the in call messages option. This kind of form will get open by scrolling down. You have to mention here your registered email ID. the training attended you have attended the training of single and latch on listing so you have to select that now by scrolling down by scrolling down the trainer name my name is ekta so you have to select ekta that is last second option now you have to rate here if you like the webinar if there was something that was new for you or if you if i was able to help you out then you may rate here excellent if you doubt as as said that i'll cater all your doubts as per the hand raised so if your doubts got cleared you may mention here yes if it hasn't or if you want to rejoin the session you may of course join for all those sellers who join in mid of the session or at last something got missed you may join it again if the webinar timing suits you you may click on yes if it doesn't you may click on no you can share your preferred time here and if you have any suggestion any feedback so that we can improve you may mention here and click on submit i would request all of you to please do rate as per the webinar which i have explained now let's take the queries as per hand raised so before i start taking the queries i would request all of you 
that as the session is of single and electron listing, so I will cater all the doubts that are related to single and electron listing only. So those you have any doubt, any uh, concern, apart from this topic, then I would request you to please join the particular session that is related to that topic, or you may join the doubt clearing session. Because I don't want to say no to all of you. So let's start taking the hand raise. Now, as, uh, as as I can check, only Mr. Aflaq Ahmed has raised his hand. So let me cater his queries. Till the time, I would request all of you to please do fill the feedback form as it is very helpful for us in order to serve you better. So Mr. Aflaq Ahmed, you may ask your query, sir. Mr. Akhlaq Ahmad, if I am audible, please ask your question. Uh, Mr. Akhlaq Ahmad, I am not getting your voice. As I can see, Mr. Shailesh, Praveen, and Sazik Khan has filled the form time. Thank you so much for filling the form. It really helps us to serve you better. OK, Mr. Aklak has mentioned new Flipkart sellers ko achhe order kap se aana shuru ho jate hai. So basically, uh, Aklak ji, aisa kuch fix nahi hai ki aapko aaj ke aaj se order aana start ho jayenge. Ye aapki listing pa depend karta hai, product ki visibility pa depend karta hai ki aapka product kitna zada visible hai, kitni awareness hai customers ke beech mein. So uske according hi jo hai aapka product visible hota aur aapko order aane ke chances baadte hai. Aapko initially thodi mehnat karni hoti hai. Sorry? Jaysa, jaysa meera 94 listing kar rakhi, uske baad me meere views nahi aare. सर अगर आपको व्यूज नहीं आ रहे हैं तो मैं आपको सजेस्ट करूंगी कि आप एक बार ये अपनी लिस्टिंग चेक कर लीजिए क्या आपको कोई प्राइस रेकमेंडेशन है या कोई इनसाइट है अगर नहीं है आपकी लिस्टिंग अगर बिल्कुल सही है अगर आप चाहें तो इस बात कर सकते हैं मैं चेक कर दूंगी कोई भी एक लिस्टिंग अगर आप मुझे शो कर पाए तो मैं आवाज दे रही आपकी एक मिनट मिस्टर अखला क्या आप मुझे अभी सुन पा रहे हैं जी सर क्या आप मुझे अभी सुन पा रहे हैं जी मैं ये कह रही सर कि अगर पॉसिबल हो आप तो अपनी स्क्रीन प्रेजेंट करके मुझे कोई भी एक लिस्टिंग आपके दिखा सकते हैं जी मैम प्लीज एक बार अपनी स्क्रीन प्रेजेंट करके मुझे कोई भी एक लिस्टिंग शो कर दीजिए Hello. 